Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the murky waters of the Kenyan politics. Barely 24 hours after Raila Mulodinga made that shocking declaration that he was ready to support Kalonzo Musyoka in 2027, a declaration that sparked a lot of debate around the succession politics in Luanyanza, in ODM, and in Azimio, Raila has made a sweet U-turn. Raila has declared, I have not endorsed Kalonzo for 2027. And Raila says that yesterday, when he heaped all the praises about Kalonzo Musyoka, it was because they have worked together and it was in recognition of the times that they have spent together. Kalonzo has supported him in three successive elections. He said Kalonzo has got some good Christian values and he said that Kalonzo has built a political support base across the country. What do you think from where you sit? Because it didn't start yesterday. While in Kitui, the ODM Secretary General, Edwin Sifuna, had indicated what was going to happen in Bondo. And he had said that as an ODM fraternity, they don't take it for granted that Kalonzo has supported them thrice against a lot of pressure from the community to run for presidency. And he said that they will always reciprocate by giving Kalonzo their support. And then yesterday, Raila said it in Bondo that they were ready. And now Raila says he didn't endorse Kalonzo. So what exactly is happening, ladies and gentlemen? I have a feeling that Raila wanted to test political waters. He might have meant well, and he meant that he wanted to give Kalonzo his support, and I believe he still means it. But in my earlier video, if you watched, I was wondering why now the timing was really very questionable. We still have about four years ahead of us. And Raila wanted to test waters in Azimio. How was this going to affect the unity of the other coalition partners, especially Mata Karua, who was the running mate? Was she consulted? People like Eugene Omalwa and Jeremiah Kioni were they in agreement? Because in a coalition, the other partners also matter. And so maybe Raila wanted to test how would this shake or unite the team further? And barely 24 hours later, maybe he has realized that uh, the, conver the conversation is taking another turn of event, another twist, and he has decided to clarify this. I heard some of the Raila supporters saying that uh, they still feel that Raila has got enough energy to get to the ballot in 2027. Could it be another reason why he has made this U-turn? Maybe he just wants people now just uh, to, to continue with this conversation, or those people who had got doubt because there was a, a, a feeling that others were saying they will not be waking up very early in the morning if Raila is not in the box. And so it is a test. And uh, I think moving forward, we are going to see more of this. Number two, I have a feeling that Raila wanted to confuse the Kenya Kwanza government. Because of late I have seen the government coming up, coming up with a conversation that Kalonzo should run. And Vavinia Ndete has been leading this call. Kalonzo must run in 2027. The other day when Ruto said that he knows he's going to raise against Kalonzo, it was a clear indication that he wanted to start an altercation between the two. Because Kalonzo is human. Once you put it in his mind that he must contest and the people around him, then the moment will come when if people are not careful, then the, the, the house is going to be divided further. So what Raila moved very fast to do, and I believe together with Kalonzo, they decided to confuse. Because less than 24 hours after you've declared Kalonzo, you say, I didn't endorse him. And then this is going to confuse the, 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 the government further. They must go back to the drawing board because they don't know where to stand. 
Raila made it very clear that he will support Kalonzo. And now he's saying, I didn't endorse him. This is going to give the government a difficult time in trying to perpetuate another fallacy to the people. Because there are people who still believe that Raila meant support to Kalonzo Musioka. So even if you go and tell them that uh, Raila is hoodwinking Kalonzo, it is not going to be very easy. Especially now that the government is seen to be, is, uh, uh, to be demolishing houses in Mavoko, they will not listen to them. And I believe that the government is confused. Because right now, they must be climbing the political thoughts very carefully. Because should they just, you know, come up with a conversation against this, they might find themselves left in the hoods. Number three, I think Raila has already indicated to the people where he wants Azimir, the direction he wants Azimir to take. Because it was not a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. He didn't just wake up and said, I will support Kalonzo Musioka. This is something that has been choreographed. This is something that has been thoughtfully choreographed and they had to act it in Bondo. And moving forward, the, 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 those who are very close, because sometimes I have uh, followed how MOUs, secret MOUs are being signed. I'm sure, I, 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 I saw Mutula Kilonzo Jr. in that, in, in that uh, birthday party. And when you see Mutula Kilonzo as a lawyer, as a very close confidant of Kalonzo Musioka, then you know they couldn't just be there if there was no reason for it. And so maybe Raila has just shown his people the direction I have a feeling that that could be a reason. The other reason is that Raila could have just wanted to set a conversation. You know, in politics, setting up a conversation is very important. Like the government side had decided on this conversation about Kalonzo must run. When Ruto said that I know I'm going to run against Kalonzo, he knew very well that this conversation would go on. And I think Raila wanted to begin this conversation. And it is a very viable conversation, both in, 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 in opposition and in government. Because they are now going to start thinking, what is happening here? But within the Azimio, this conversation is very, very important and very mature. Because now they have set the pace. Is it Martha? Is it Raila? Is it Kalonzo Musioka? What is the weight of the pocket? How about your local and international collect, uh, connection? How about your support base? I mean, things like that. If we give you that opportunity, where will your running mate come from? Now that we are going to have the, 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 the space for uh, an official prime minister's office. You know, this kind of conversation is very viable. And with that, the conversation has started. In fact, today, if you go to places like Jakaranda, where, they, where there's a lot of conversation, where people talk politics, you will see this kind of conversation. There are people who still believe that Raila must be in the box. There are people saying that, no, to Konadini, Akalonzo, again, Osama, Pana, Martha Karua, because of the women vote. So this conversation had to be started from somewhere, and it started in Bondo. And now Raila has made this U-turn to confuse even uh, the opponent's father. And I think it is a good thing. But those who are close to the powers that be within the ODM, within NAC Kenya and NAC and, and, and Wiper, I believe they know what is happening. Because as William Ruto, uh, you know, continues to prepare his, himself, builds a ground, his eyes are on the ball, on the ball Raila and his team are not taking any chances because we've seen Ruto with his charm offensive trying to buy everyone. You saw what happened in Turukana where the governor has, has made a U-turn and they didn't even want Raila. The leaders there did not want Raila to address them. So there are a lot of political theatrics going on, realignments, arrangements, and Raila just wants to put the house in order. And maybe before they get to the day when they are going to announce the man or the lady, Raila wants to make sure that the house is in order, the house is united, and I believe it is a healthy conversation. I don't know what you think, but that is my take.